Filipino food is peppered with dishes that make use of every part of the animal. Call it ingenuity or resourcefulness when times were hard, they are still very much a part of our national identity. If you bring up a blood suit wherever you are on the islands, people will talk to you about the Niguan. Forgetting that within our 81 provinces, we have many other variations of this popular dish. This is Tenumis. Nueva Ecija will probably not pop up in most tourist itineraries and is mostly known for its dairy and rice industry. However, the province's history could be of interest to Spanish Revolution and World War II history buffs, having witnessed lots of action during both those periods. For us, tinumis and real provincial cooking drew us in. Recipes in the country aren't written in books, but are a family affair, explaining why dishes seem to have similar flavor profiles, but always come with a distinct flair, depending on who is cooking it and where they live. When I was born, I was really proud of it. It's like when I was born in a fiesta, 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 Pagka may naglala ko rito may dugo, nagluluto ako ng gano'n. Mahilig din yung mga ano ko sa gano'n. Yung lola ko kasi kusinera yun. E di, doon kami lagi. Palagi niya kami pinagluluto ng gano'n, tinumis. Maraming pang-asim dito eh. Nakapaligid ang pang-asim dito sa Nueva Ecija. Ayan, may mangga, may kamyas. Pumitas ka lang, isuka mo na sa pang-asim mong Sour is one of the most common flavor profiles in Filipino cuisine. Nueva Ecijanos love it and they will usually use some paloc or tamarind as their main souring agent for tinumis and other dishes because these can be found everywhere in the province. However, if they're short of it, they will also use green mangoes, camias, or calamansi. Usually the blood is mixed with some vinegar first to prepare it for the cook. The meat or innards used are then washed thoroughly under cold water before being salted. They are then placed in a boiling pot of water with pandan leaves. The souring agent to be used is quickly boiled before being mashed and then strained into a pan with the sautéed garlic, chilies, and onions. The boiled innards are then chopped up and fried in the mix. Finally, the pig's blood is added and everything is left to simmer until ready to eat. Yung tinumis, madalas naming iluto pag dumadating yung mga anak ko. Paborito nila yon. Hindi naman handaan lang na may mga fiesta or verte. Kahit pang madalas, linggo-linggo, basta kayo, araw ng linggo, magtutumis na kami. Tinumis, lahat ng, sa palengke, sa mga kain ng mga karindiriyang maliliit doon, at saka mga basta may tinumis, yun ang lagi na uubos doon. Eh, masarap kasi tinumis, lalo na yung asim at ang hangay nagsasama, masarap. Pagka masarap ang luto, eh, yung malapot, sarap. Aba, nung bata nga ako eh, nagloto ng tinomis yung inang ko. At eh, ngayon eh, yung kapatid kong isa eh, galing ako sa iskol. Kakain ako, inubusan ako ng tinomis. Nagsuntukan ka. <laughs> Nagsuntukan kami dahil sa tinomis.
Talagang bata pa ako, nagkakaluto na ako kasi nga, eh, nagahanap ko yung dalawang gulang ko. Naiwan ako sa bahay, ako nagluluto, natutunan ko na nga yung tinumis na yan. Gusto ng mga kapatid ko yan, hanggang sa nagkaasawa na kami, paborito din nila lahat. Pwede mainam at nakapagpamigay ka ng masarap ang pangaranda kapag bigay ka. Tsaka kahit hindi ka magpamigay, nakihingi sila. Pag hindi ka nagpatay, sigurado hindi ka may tinumis doon, eh, makakahihingi sila. Yan ang paborito ng tao dito. Ang mga luto sa mga restaurant sa Manila, kabot iluluto ng ready to eat na Walang maraming ano, hindi matagal pinakukuluan. Pag kami dala sila mga fast food, mas pipiliin talaga yung tinumis kasi ibalasa talaga. Gusto nila yung lutong, lutong probinsya talaga. <tinyo>